Do you think freeze drying food is the best method of food preservation? I do. But you think you can't afford one of these? Even though it's expensive, I'm going to talk today about how and why you can afford one of these. Let's talk about it. First thing I want you to do, if you think about getting one of these, but you're still buying pre-packaged freeze-dried foods, stop it because they are very expensive. If you're in a situation where you can't get one of these right away, then get some of these as a backup. As you can see, I have some, but don't continue to just buy a massive amount of them because they are very expensive. I'm going to break down the numbers on this compared to buying those and you are going to be blown away at the difference. So first things first, how can you afford one of these? This is the medium is $2,800. A lot of people don't have 2,800 bucks plus shipping laying around. But Harvest Right is such an amazing company, they have a layaway program. So you can put just $250 down to reserve yourself a freeze dryer. After that, you can take as long as you want to pay it off. And you can pay 10 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, it doesn't matter. As soon as everything's paid in full, they'll ship it to you. So if it was a concern of yours that you didn't have that big investment up front, don't worry about it. If you want one of these, it is attainable. Now we're going to talk about why you should have one of these compared to other methods of preservation and purchasing freeze-dried food. So you need to look at the life cycle costs of different food preservation methods. If you're canning something either in a water bath or a pressure canner, that food is going to be good for maybe three to five years. If you're dehydrating things and then vacuum sealing them, that's a good method and they will last a couple of years. And if you're freezing things, those will last actually a little bit less, maybe around two years. That cannot compare to a 25 to 30 year lifespan for freeze dried food packaged properly. And this one isn't, so this one's just for snacking. But if you package them in these Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers and they don't have any light penetration, they will last upwards of 30 years. If I didn't mention some of my old freeze dried stores are 20 years old like this one. And just from touching it and feeling the crunchy nature of it, it's still completely viable. So I personally think that freeze drying is the absolute best method for several different reasons. So the first is nutrient retention. When you use the freeze drying process, it keeps about 90 to 95% of the vitamins, nutrients intact within the food. When you're canning, that goes down to about 60% and you're killing off most of the vitamin A and vitamin C, and there's two more I can't remember, uh, initially. So you're gonna lose all of that in your canning process, whether it be uh, water bath canning or pressure canning. This is not a bad method. As you can see, we still do it. It would take a long period of time to actually dehydrate tomato sauce in the freeze dryer, although you can do it. But if I did it in the freeze dryer, it would retain much more of the nutrients than this jar has right here that's been water bath canned. And reason number two we just talked about is its longevity. That can of tomato sauce is only going to be viable for a few years, while if I freeze dried tomato sauce, it would be good for a long period of time. So then of course, three, there's the life cycle cost, which I also talked about. So if you're purchasing your food for either dehydrating or canning, then obviously, the least expensive food is going to be that which lasts the longest, which is the freeze dried food. So here's the big one, folks. Over the last couple of months, I've crunched numbers from the four major freeze dried food companies compared to doing it yourself in a freeze dryer. You're going to be stunned at the cost difference between the two. So that cost difference is going to show you that you can afford one of these. If you were purchasing things like this, doing it yourself, it's gonna cost way less. If you're interested in getting one of these and making some nutrient dense food that lasts an incredibly long period of time, you can click on the link in the description below. Okay, as a quick aside here and a bonus, with these prepackaged freeze dried foods, you're getting something extra that you don't get when you make the food yourself. And that is maltodextrin, disodium inosate, disodium gluinate, autolyzed yeast extract, caramel color, natural flavors, modified cornstarch, and some other things. So if you do not want that in your food, then don't get things like this. Now your freeze dried food will be just as good as this 
without the preservatives. So it's going to last just as long. If you seal it properly in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber, you don't need the preservatives. Okay, friends, let's jump to my computer screen here. We have got a breakdown that I've done over the last couple of months, and I researched four big companies that produce freeze-dried food. And I also edited it in Walmart. And the reason I did that is it's very difficult to find um, common foods across all different freeze-dried food companies. They all do their own specific recipes. So one commonality that I did find was strawberries. So you can see I've got Legacy Foods, My Patriot Supply, Emergency Essentials, Ready Wise, and then Walmart. And Walmart, because they both have freeze-dried strawberries, and of course they've got organic fresh strawberries. And I'll tell you why that's significant. So we have got strawberries, and the best way that I found to come to a conclusion on how much these cost was cost per ounce. That was a commonality between all of them because serving size is different and yeah, each company is totally different on some of those things. Let's look at cost uh, plus tax. So you can see the first four, the freeze dried food companies, I have to add tax on to those because if you order online, then you're gonna be paying tax. However, there is no tax in most states, I think maybe all states, on food, on grocery items. So we've got zero tax added on to the price of our strawberries from Walmart down here. So let's look at Legacy Foods. $8.37 an ounce. That is really insane how much those strawberries cost because just underneath it at My Patriot Supply, You've got $4.43 an ounce, and you all can check me on my math. Uh, maybe I did something wrong, but uh, emergency essentials is about the same, but then you jump to ReadyWise and we're up back up to $7.70 an ounce. And if you look down at our freeze-dried strawberries, which is the great value brand from Walmart, we've got $3.72 an ounce. But the real big thing here to look at is the organic strawberry price per ounce. And yeah, you're paying for some water, but look at that, 22 cents an ounce for organic strawberries from Walmart. Now, I doubt that most of these other ones are organic. Uh, I couldn't find information on, on that. They, they said not, not GMO, but that doesn't mean they're organic. So the freeze-dried strawberries, the great values from Walmart definitely are not organic. Okay, so you're saying, well, what about energy costs, Eric? Well, we did a video previously on the freeze dryer and how much energy it used, uh, how many kilowatt hours, and it was about 13. So look down here and we're gonna break down this energy cost. So the average house uses 1100 kilowatt hours per month or about 36 kilowatt hours per day uh, for energy. And at 12 cents a kilowatt hour, running a full cycle on our freeze dryer for some apples in that case, uh, we, are only at about $1.69, and that's for 12 ounces. That's how much our um, our freeze dryer produced at the end, 12 dry freeze dried ounces. So it's got four trays, say it's three ounces per tray, per tray, and that is similar to the pricing up top, and that's about 42 cents. So if you are gonna do organic strawberries and then add in energy costs, it's going to be so minimal that it doesn't even come close to being what is um, charged at the freeze-dried food companies. So if you take that cost over time, that savings, let's just go from organic strawberries at Walmart plus energy costs up to strawberries from Legacy Foods, and that is a huge difference. That's over, uh, well, it's about 10 times more. So if you purchase your freeze dryer, how quickly can you make up for that cost difference? I think you can make up for it incredibly quick. And that justifies buying the freeze dryer. So let's look at the, some of the other ones. And like I said, it was difficult to try and do some comparison here. So yes, if you buy in bulk, so uh, Legacy Foods up here at the top, this, this is a bulk package of gluten-free uh, items 
chili, enchilada beans, cheese and broccoli soup, and potato soup. And I, I need the gluten-free personally, so that's what I looked at. It's $62.79 for the whole thing. And that's about 65 cents an ounce, and that's actually really good. However, if you were to compare that across and down to the Walmart where you could buy beans and rice for five or seven cents an ounce, let's call it six cents, which is the median, if you mix them together and make your own meal, six cents an ounce is 10 times less than what you would pay at Legacy Foods. And some of the other ones, you know, they fall in there, sure. Veggie chili at ReadyWise is $2.52 per ounce. That's insane compared to the gluten-free chili at Legacy Foods in the bulk pack. Um, wild rice risotto, yeah, this one's close. Beans and rice, uh, gluten-free from essentials. Uh, emergency essentials, 59 cents. That's pretty decent. So here's the ultimate end point. If you're growing your own food for yourself like we are with these strawberries, and you're freeze drying them, you're only incurring those energy costs. If you want to add in your own labor costs, you can, but most people wouldn't do that. So friends, can you afford one of these? I would say yes, taking into consideration all those factors I listed through the entire video. And if you absolutely cannot, then get buy a little freeze dried food for backup, buy some good stuff that doesn't have a whole ton of preservatives in it because it's not necessary. Get some backup dry goods in terms of some beans and rice that you can vacuum seal. Vacuum sealers maybe a hundred bucks and uh, glass jars work the best for that in my opinion. You can get those, you can get a water bath canner for 30, 40 bucks and a pressure canner for about a hundred also. But keep in mind those foods aren't going to last anywhere near as long as this. So friends, I do not want you to go into debt to get one of these, okay? If you already have consumer debt pay that off first. We paid ours off using Dave Ramsey's method. I'm a huge proponent of that and I recommend that you do that. So don't get yourself in financial trouble just to get one of these. But recognize that this provides a huge value and there are ways to obtain it like the layaway method that Harvest Right provides. And in the long run the cost is going to be much less with getting one of these. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which talks about how to initially set up your Harvest Right freeze dryer. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.